every sky rim sorry <laughs> welcome back every overseeing buddy so i've got a unique little thing for you i have actually transferred my save file from my iphone to my android emulator that's right you can do it and it's actually pretty easy so first of all you're gonna need a program called iBrows. Uh, when I post this up to my boob tube, I will put up a link to iBrows. But um, while I am here, let me see if I can pull it up. iBrows. Here we go. iBrows app. iBrowsApp.com. One hundred percent free uh, for Mac and Windows, sports iOS. That allows you to browse your iPhone files, basically. Let me go and take that tab and put it back here. And once you've got iBrowse downloaded and installed, open it up. It'll have these two folders: your folder, uh, your phone, and the backups folder. Open up the phone. You want to go to apps. Want to find the app for your particular game? In this case, we're looking for Fallout Shelter. Let me put it by name. Fallout Shelter. This is a bit slow and laggy at times, but once Fallout Shelter loads, you'll have access to the full directory structure. Also, if you, this would also work, of course, if you want to upload your file, your vaults somewhere and allow others to use them. I am always so impatient. Backup data. Let's go through backup data. So we want to look for appdata.com and we're looking for Bethsoft. There it is, Bethsoft app domain hyphen com dot Bethsoft dot fallout shelter. I'm going to go to documents. There's my vault save. Because remember that the way that they're saved in fallout shelter is you have three save slots. So the top slot's vault one, the middle shot's vault two, bottom slot's vault three. You just take that and copy it onto your desktop or whatever uh, you want to put basically what you want to do is get them onto your blue stack uh, folders which for me would be underneath blue stacks in my e drive you would probably be underneath c drive somewhere but you want to find your blue stacks folder we want to go to user data shared folder and drop it in here make sure to rename it uh, so you don't overwrite any existing vault you have because it's gonna you're basically gonna over be overwriting whatever is in that slot so i have vault three as that slot for me i took my vault one named it vault three and put it in here and then once you have gotten it inside of system you want to go over to blue stacks using the explorer which you have to find in the app store So, Explorer. You want to get then go to wrong button. Where is it? No, where is it? There it is. Storage. That's the button I'm looking for. Storage. SD card. At the bottom of SD card, you'll see Windows. At the in Windows, you will see BST shared folder, which has my vault. Tap it here. Copy. Of course, I've already done this. I use that to copy. Back out until you get over to the folder, which is just storage. Go to Android Data Com.bethsoft.falloutshelter Files, and then you just copy here. There'll be an actual button saying "Copy here" up here in the top. Here, I will show you. Windows, shared folder, 
Tag it. Copy. Up, up. Android. Data. Fallout Shelter. Files. Copy here. And you see, there it is. Vault 3.save. And if we close out of that and open up Fallout Shelter, what we will discover is a new vault in our vault list. So you can see here's the one that we started here on uh, the emulator. This is the one from my tablet, which we've covered previously. And this is the one from my iPhone. And then we'll load Vault 69, which is a bit of chaos going on right now because it's literally the largest vault I own and it is absolutely a massive. We even got a Mr. Handy that I got from a lunchbox in it. It's a lunchbox. Let me switch over to instead of monitor capture, blue stacks capture. And here you can see the insanity that is my vault. I think I spend more time clicking on resources than I do anything else. Because look, by the time I get down to the bottom, I'll tell you the ones at the top are going to be full. I've literally built this vault nearly to the bottom. But there you go. See, I've got people, ex I got a couple of guys up here working guard duty and just, well, 193 people with s several waiting outside. And I've let several die because I just have so many people. But there you go, folks. The iPhone version uses the st same save format as the Android version. So you can literally just drag and drop. Peace out, folks.